Hello everyone, welcome back to Youthful Medicine. I am Dr. Tahir, rheumatologist and obesity medicine specialist. When I see a patient uh, who has an autoimmune disease and obesity, I try to find ways to help not only their autoimmunity but also obesity because I think that there's a great interplay between inflammation, autoimmunity and obesity. So this case that I'm going to discuss with you is about managing complications of prednisone such as high blood pressure in a patient uh, with lupus. So uh, this morning I saw a 51 year old female that has systemic lupus um, and she is currently on hydroxychloroquine and prednisone. She had some flares uh, in the recent few weeks and I had to give her prednisone. I started her on a taper of 10 milligram for 10 days, then 7.5 for 10 days, and then 5 milligram for 10 days, and then 2.5 for 10 days. That's usually my approach to dealing with a, a mild flare of lupus arthritis. Now, this patient called me and said that she already had high blood pressure and while on prednisone, it increased her blood pressure. Actually, there is a direct correlation with the dose of the prednisone and uh, your blood pressure. So in this case, I want to emphasize the importance of using minimal dose of prednisone and what ways we can do to help reduce the patient risk of uh, adverse effects from prednisone. Prednisone has numerous side effects and I'll create videos as I, we go along because every day I see several patients with different complications of prednisone and try to manage them. But today I'm going to focus on high blood pressure. So we know high blood pressure is uh, prevalent and it's the number one cause of cardiovascular disease, stroke, heart attacks. So how does prednisone aggravate or create uh, high blood pressure. Well, prednisone is a corticosteroid. It can affect the blood pressure through several mechanisms. It can cause fluid retention, leading to increased blood volume. It can also increase the vascular resistance and alter the body's regulation of the renin-angiotensin system, the renin-angiotensin-aldosterone system. That is our system that works through our kidneys to regulate the blood pressure through our kidneys, the blood flow that goes through the kidneys, and it uh, manages that. So which this system, if it gets disrupted, we have blood pressure issues. That's why there are two major classes of medicines that directly focus this mechanism, the aldosterone, um, receptor, uh, the uh, angiotensin receptor blockers, and the ARB, the angiotensin receptor blocker, and uh, ACE inhibitor, angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors. So these, if, these, uh, these effects of prednisone, when they kick in, they increase the blood volume, retention of the salt in water, that raises blood pressure. They increase vascular resistance, increases blood pressure. They mess up with the uh, angiotensin, aldosterone, um, uh, renin angiotensin system, affect our kidney system of regulation blood pressure, we end up having high blood pressure. So let's talk about lifestyle and modifications in diet to help reduce the blood pressure as the first line approach. So what do we do to help reduce blood pressure? First, we should talk about the medic modification in our diet, low sodium diet. You can replace your high sodium diet to a uh, diet which is using more potassium as one of the salt ingredients in your food um, and they sell it in the markets. Number two, avoid fluid retention. So diet which is rich in low sodium would help reduce salt uh, and water retention such as uh, fruits, veggies, and whole grains, which support the overall cardiovascular health. Exercise on a regular basis, physical activity like walking, uh, swimming, cycling can help improve blood pressure and keep you relaxed as well. They also are good for your cardiovascular health. Weight management, making sure that you are not eating uh, fattening foods uh, to avoid weight control while you are on prednisone. So that can also cause, uh, now there are also strategies involved in reducing prednisone. Another way strategy is that I should uh, talk to patients about reducing the dose of the prednisone if the symptoms have been improving. So when I usually give them 10 milligram dose, I tell them you can stop 
reducing the dose you can after talking to me i know that they could they could reduce it by seven days they could reduce it by five days they could reduce it by three days it depends on they don't have to use all the 10 day so that empowers my patients to be able to understand that the prednisone is to just temporarily reduce the symptoms when the symptoms are gone they can lower the prednisone for my patients i work gradually lowering the prednisone doses as their lupus gets under control or whatever the autoimmune disease I am treating. Now, sometimes I discuss with them that they should talk to their primary care doctor or if I can help them understand that, okay, we have to use the prednisone. The blood pressure is already too high. It's not going to go down. Maybe we should consider a medication on the temporary basis. And I would either use an ACE inhibitor or diuretic or an ARB or calcium channel blockers based on their medical history. And I find a drug that could help with it. Again, regular monitoring of blood pressure is important. So everyone should have a blood pressure monitor at, at their homes. If not, at least when they go to the pharmacy, most pharmacies at their counter and they have blood pressure monitors, please get it checked out. One of the ways to monitor blood pressure is to be in the morning when you're relaxed, you're not talking, you haven't had coffee, you're sitting uncrossed, relaxed, arms sitting, take deep breaths and then check your blood pressure. That's the best time to check your blood pressure. Uh, it is vital to stay aware, aware of the potential risk and work with your doctors about medications that could increase your risk of high blood pressure. So thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the button for subscription and also for uh, ongoing um, notifications for new video content. And please share it with a loved one that may find it useful. Um, and until then, please take care of your health and I'll see you next time.